I will be showing you guys how you can make $101,000 super easy in GTA 5 Online. So as you guys may or may not know it, but Rockstar Games does do weekly updates to the game every Thursday. And with that, they actually add new adversary modes to the game, do double money and RP events. And most importantly, they reset the weekly time trials. Now, this week's time trial is actually super easy. For this week, it's going to be Storm Drain, which you have to be in a part time of 38 seconds. Now, the vehicle I do recommend for this one is the Shitsu Kragu Drag Bike, which is a motorcycle that can be purchased over at Legendary Motorsports for a total price of $976,000. And once you do the full upgrades to it, including the engine tuning, transmission, uh, you're looking around probably 1.2 to 1.3 million dollars. Now, if you don't have the money to spend that, which is totally fine, there is another bike that I recommend, especially if you guys don't want to spend a lot of money, is going to be the Buy T801 for only $15,000. And if you guys still can't afford it for some reason, there is going to be some motorcycles. I'm sure the Buy T801 is something that you're going to see like an NPC drive. So if you want to steal one, you also can do that. Alright, so now that we have our vehicle ready, and we're over at the time trial, which if you guys don't know it, the time trial is going to be located over here this week. And if you still can't find it on the right hand corner, just keep on scrolling down until you find time trial. And so of course, what you guys want to first do, which I'm pretty sure we don't really need to set a waypoint for this one, I still am anyway, is we're going to go ahead and look where the destination spot is. Okay, so normally I set waypoints. Because usually you're going around roads and everything. But for Storm Dream, all you're doing is going in a very, very straight line. Uh, so you don't need really a waypoint at all for this. So we're going to go ahead, respawn, and then we're going to secondly, which is something that I'm not really sure if it benefits from or not. But it's to get as close to the time trial as possible. But you still want to get the indicator to start it up. Alright, so this is as far as we can actually get to. And so now we're just going to go ahead and start it. So from here, basically you just want to follow the entire uh, path over here, and it should be as easy as that. Alright, well it was an easy time trial. I got on my very first attempt here, and I even did not land in the water. One of the funny things about this time trial, which I don't know if Rockstar Games did this on purpose, but since you're going full speed, uh, by the time you actually get there, you're probably going to take a massive jump, and there's a very good chance you're going to land in the water. But anyway, that's basically it for your time trial. It's super easy to do, and you can see I made $101,000 and a decent amount of RP. And not a lot of RP, but, you know... At least a decent bit. And so there you guys go. That is it for today's video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. If you did, feel free to like and subscribe for more GTA 5 videos and content like this. If you do have any questions about this video, let me know down in the comment section. And I or someone else will try their best to answer it. And so with that being said, you guys have a great one. Stay safe out there. And goodbye.